Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. This next popsicle related video, I'm going to show you how to make fudge sickles or fudge pops. They're really easy to do, very few ingredients. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. First, we need some kind of a popsicle mold. I really like uh, these ones. Uh, I'll put a link down below where you can get them. They're pretty cheap, but you can use any mold. They don't have to be these ones specifically. Now we start with two and one half cups of milk. Put it in a nice little pot here. And then we add one half cup of sugar, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, two tablespoons of cornstarch. Go ahead and just give it a whisk. Now it's not gonna mix very well yet in with the milk, so let's go ahead and take this over to the heat. So we have this on medium heat, and we're just gonna keep stirring this on medium heat until it thickens up nicely for us. And you don't have to constantly stir. You can let it heat up, set it down for a little bit, a few seconds, 20, 30 seconds, and then come back in here and start stirring. And you'll notice that the little clumps of uh, cocoa powder will eventually kind of just get right into the, like melt into the uh, mixture. So don't worry about those. If you have some bigger clumps, you can just move your whisk really fast like this and it'll break up those clumps. Eventually you're gonna to start to see these little bubbles, which is really nice. Just keep stirring and then pretty soon it's gonna to start to get pretty thick, which is gonna be awesome. It already is fairly thick right now. All right, our fudge here has gotten nice and thick. Take about, it took about 15 minutes to get to this point. Now what we're gonna do we're going to have to turn off the heat and this, take this off the heat. And then we're going to go ahead and add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one tablespoon of unsalted butter. Let's go ahead and mix that all together so butter melts. And... All right. Awesome. All right. And then now what we want to do is we want to just fill up our molds here. We'll just take the tops off. And you're gonna stir this periodically. And then I just take like this little ladle here. You could use a, a funnel or something if you want. And we're just gonna go ahead and take some of our chocolate. And we'll fill up the mold. And then I usually leave about a quarter inch at the top. And go ahead and put the, cot, the lid on like that. And I'll just fill up the rest of them. And then just go ahead and put these in the freezer and let them freeze completely. About four hours overnight is probably better. Okay, once our fudge sickles have frozen, we'll go ahead and take it and we'll run some water, warm water, around the edges. Um, about 10, 15 seconds is all it needs to loosen it from the mold. We'll go ahead and just grab it and pull it out. Look at that. Awesome little fudge sickle. And that is how you make fudge sickles. Really easy to do. Very few ingredients. Go out there and make your own. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down in the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into one of these. Oh yeah. I'll grab this guy. Take it out of the mold. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Mm.